Right, today we're going to take some of this salvaged PVC coated copper pipe, strip it down and turn it into a work chiller. Right. Now if you remember I said this was 15mm, normally most people buy from a plumber's merchants or a DIY store the 10mm copper pipe, which I've obviously being smaller is easier to form into a coil. Uh, two reasons I'm doing it is one I had this stuff lying around anyway so it makes sense to use what you've got and obviously with this being a larger surface area it should be more efficient at cooling a little bit quicker hopefully. Anyway, the next problem is to form the coil. This is my boil kettle so I need something that's going to be able to form the shape to fit into that. Now most people use a corny keg, now assuming you like most other people in the UK probably haven't got a corny keg. Um, I looked at the option of using a gas bottle or uh, I have got a MIG welding gas bottle which is slightly small. I have got an old stainless steel tube which is from a workshop heater which is pretty close to being the right size so I'm going to use that to form the coil. So I'll move on to that which obviously I can't film because I'll need both hands so back shortly. Well that's the finished article, not the easiest thing I've formed, I used to form coils for a living but not this size, did have a little bit of a mishap, not a major problem because I can obviously cut that out and reshape that and we did slip there, have a little kink but this is mark one, we've got that other piece outside so we're going to have another one but it's big enough anyway, all I've got to do is just cut this and uh, I'll solder on another joint and the same for here I'll bring the bend round on the inside and bring another pipe up and then bring them over the pot but uh, I think while I'm doing it I'll uh, have a go at making that other one back in a minute right after another wrestling match that's what we end up with I've got to get it off a of former now right well that's the first one I made that's the second one just as a comparison, I've just found a bit of scrap 10mm. That's the difference. Right, I just have to uh, shake these up and I'll be right back. Right, there you go, folks. One water chiller made in the back of my van. Just cut it off. Solder the joint, pass it up there, same there. It's a nylon cable tight hold the two pipes together. And I've got a proper plumber's pipe bender. So we've angled those back. That way if there is any drips on your hose pipe, it drips out of your pot and not into your pot. Like so. There we have it. Okay. I'll make another one. Right, that's the bend I'm doing, and this is how I do it. I just fit it in the pipe bender at the end there. And this is as far as I can form it with one hand. And then it looks like that. Okay, so what we have is two corners prepared. And that will just go on there. Like so. I'll just get that one soldered up and then cut the other one to size. Okay, there we have it. Another one done. A little bit of tarnishing on this one once cleaning up, really, but uh, other than that, that's a 15mm copper tubing made into a coil versus your 10mm. side by side comparison and this one's got the angles and here it is in the pot there we go okay so that's two work chillers made out of some scrap salvaged copper tubing that I had lying around 
So that saved me a few pennies. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you again on the next project.